So this title is probably a little bit clickbait, but guess what? You clicked on it already and you probably just want to know the cons before investing your hard-earned money into buying a cloud couch type sofa. Quickly, a little background is that this couch is from Structube. I think it was just under 3,000 Canadian dollars and I've had it for about three to four weeks. So definitely have used it like every day at night at least you know, when you're just chilling after a long day and watching Netflix on TV. So don't have used it, um, but I don't have any pets or children, so it's just me and my boyfriend using it. But these are just considerations to have if you are interested in buying this type of couch. The first thing is that there are feathers that will come out of this couch and poke you. It usually happens on the section that you're sitting on the most because that's the section that's getting wear and tear. But I can even see right now there's a little feather that's poking out. I'm going to show you guys. So this couch is composed of I think 60% feathers and 40% polyester fill. So it is a balance between these two materials but you're still going to be getting these little feathers that come out. And the RH Cloud Couch, the Restoration Hardware one, that's the same. It's also a blend of feathers and polyester. I don't know about long term if it's good or bad that feathers are coming out. Hopefully not too many. I also read online that people were like, oh, you can use a pillow protector to stop the feathers from coming out of the cushion. You can like wrap it up. Uh, but I don't have a pillowcase that's the size of this cushion. Like it's quite large. So I don't think that's going to work. I guess the feathers will just come out, but that is something to be considerate about if you're allergic to down, if you're allergic to feathers. If you have pets or children that might be like pulling at this couch, there are little feathers that come out. Number two is that it is a sink-in sofa. I mean, the name of this couch in particular is Soft. Uh, the Restoration Hardware one is called Cloud Couch. Like. It is supposed to give you that feeling like you're supposed to sink into it, but if you have older parents or maybe older people who are living in your home, the couch is probably a little bit too low for them and wide, so it's a little uncomfortable to get in and out of. But also, because it is like a sinking sofa, it's also a pro, you know, if you have people staying over, it really acts as like a bed for two people at least. One can sleep this way, one can sleep the other way. It is a pro, it is a con, it depends how you look at it. Okay, the third thing is that, as you probably know, the sofa is high maintenance. Okay, this one in particular is not as high maintenance, I think, as the Restoration Hardware one, because I've seen some really terrible photos of that RH Cloud Couch sofa. That one gets wrinkled and it looks like people just sit in it and it looks really soggy afterwards. But this one I'll show you kind of normal wear and tear. Like it does get a bit lumpy and you have to fluff it up again, but it doesn't look as terrible <laughs> as the Restoration Hardware one. So this is what it looks like kind of just normal after we sat on it last night. You can see it's a little bit messy and indented in a lot of places. This one is probably a bit more usable and durable. I find that sometimes one end of the cushion kind of gets flat, so then I'll rotate it so then the other part gets kind of balanced out again. Or you just have to like fluff it up, give it a good fluff. If you have guests coming, you definitely have to spruce up the couch because each section is a loose cushion. Only the bottom part, the frame, is defined. You have to make sure that everything is put into place so then it's very aesthetic again. While those are kind of my cons about the couch, this couch actually has a lot of pros. The couch is like an off-white beige color so you don't have to be as meticulous about eating on the couch or drinking on it, even though I would probably avoid doing that. <laughs> Just because I want to avoid the cleanup and the potential having to scrub it. Another good thing about this couch is that all the cushion covers are removable so you can unzip them, you can throw them in the wash if you would like. Um, and it looks like so far it doesn't pill. It's made out of polyester, the cushion cover, so it should be pretty abrasion resistant and durable. I think cloud couches probably aren't the best solution for families or people with kids and pets and all these things because then the sofa starts to look really soggy and 
if you have all these people in your household, you probably want something more low maintenance. Uh, this couch is probably for couples or just people who are like very meticulous and probably don't use the couch that much. So if you are thinking about buying this couch, I would recommend it. It is very aesthetic, it's super comfy, but you do need to be mindful of these kind of factors that people don't necessarily write about in the review. Because I went on the website and it was like two five-star reviews. They were like, amazing, love this couch. And then I was like, yeah, okay, perfect. No one's complained about it. So, you know, you never know. And a lot of the times reviews are like paid or even if you go on Amazon, there's so many fake reviews. So I'm just telling you this couch is 7 out of 10, very good, pretty good, but you need to be mindful of these other little things. If you have this type of couch, like let me know how careful you are with it. So that's it for this review. Hopefully I provided some helpful tips for your consideration of couch shopping. I'll see you guys next time.